This also were an iniquity to be punished by the judge. Right, that's an iniquity. That's sin, right? To to be into astrology. I'm a Gemini, I'm a Pisces. All these that wickedness. For I should have denied Yahweh that is above. Like you denying the most high God, man. You saying that those your gods, man. Right? That's left hand magic and wickedness, man. Right? You ain't supposed to dip and dabble in that, man. Right? But our people don't know that. They just they just follow the ways of the heathen, man. They check their daily horoscope. They they let that go how they go act, man. When you need to let the, the Bible go how you go act, man. You can't lean on your own understanding. This is book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, and verse 9. Right. It reads, When thou art come into the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Right. You can't do after the abominations of those nations. Huh? That's what we did. Man. What was the Canaanites doing? Man? Sacrificing their, okay, their children, okay. drinking blood, worshiping the stars. Huh? You see that? The most I created the stars. What you worshiping for, man? But Jake don't even realize it because the, the Satan comes as an angel of light. They think it's all fun and games and I'm a Gemini and something like that. That's wickedness, man. You Greek gods, man. Right? Bring it up. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, and verse 1. Surely in vain are all men by nature. Right. And men are vain by nature, man. Your nature is wicked. Give me that Genesis 65, man. Like, bring that up, man. Hold that. Because, hey, man, we, we wicked as hell, man, by nation. Like, the most south planted that evil seed in heaven. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 6, and verse 5. And it reads, And Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. You see, that man is just evil by nation, wicked as hell. So that's why he said men are vain by nation. Right, he created us that way, right? And you know, you know, Jesus Christ, the so-called black man, right? Right? Did you know that? Come talk to us, Esau. Come talk to us. Give me Revelation thirteen and nine. We got one verse for you, right? You can hear us loud and clear. Check this out. All right. How you feel about slavery? You don't like it. You know what you think God gonna do about that? What you think the Lord gonna do about slavery? Right? You don't know, do you? We're going to show you, man. Bring it up. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 9. Bring it up. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right, you got ears. You can hear. Right? You got ears, right? You can hear this. He said, if any man can have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Right? He said, if you lead people into captivity. Ain't no preachers, man. What you doing? You saw he said, if you leave, he said, if you lead somebody into captivity, then who let the blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans to captivity? Did the Europeans do that? Right? So bring, bring that up from the top. He that lead them into captivity. So you say the Europeans let the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity. So go into captivity. You gotta go into captivity. That's right. Right, so your judgment according to God is to go into slavery. So you ready for that? You ready for slavery? You ready for slavery? The cotton field? Getting beat? You ready for that? Hey, well, you got to get ready, man. Yes, right? Because you're going into slavery, thus said the Lord. Right? Yes, right. Right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right? Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right? And we the saints, man. The Israelites are the saints. So we're patiently waiting for those that took us into slavery to go into slavery. Those that killed 33 million Aztecs. The 100 million Negroes on the way here is still hanging Negroes. We're waiting for them to get put to death. All right, bring it up. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. Be right? not deceived. Right, don't be deceived, man. Don't be fooled, right? God is not mocked. And the Most High is not mocked. You can't just rape, rob, and murder, stand on stolen land, and think it's all good. For whatsoever a man soweth, so rape, rob, and murder in the earth. Man. Everywhere you go, it's a genocide. You are canceling the earth. Right, right. 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 That shall we also reap. So you gotta reap that. Man. That's right. Right? Because they, I hate when they say we gotta do better as humans when they say the sky and everything polluted. And y'all run the world, man. That's right. We ain't got the damn. We ain't got the damn factories, man. Right. that stuff in the ocean. Y'all gotta get go, man. The hell? I hate when they say that, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta get exterminated. All right, bring it up. Woo! 
This is the book of Psalms, 149 and verse 6. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth. We got to let the high bright praises of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall be in our mouth. And they two-edged sword in their hand. And what? And they two-edged sword in their hand. We have a two-edged sword in our hand. That's right. To execute vengeance upon the heat. Vengeance upon the heathens, That's you, right. you so-called white people, you East Indians, you Africans, all you other nations, right? That's and right. punishments upon the people. Yes. They'll punish you guys with this two-edged sword. Right? Right. And bind their kings with chains. Right. And what? And bind their, their kings with chains. chains. Biden. And bind their, their kings, kings with chains. Donald Trump. And bind their kings with chains. Steve, or not Steve Jobs, what's the one? Bill Gates. To, to bind their kings with chains. Their kings with chains. Right. We're bind your kings with chains, man. Right. Right. And their nobles with fetters of iron. Right. To execute upon them the judgment written. The judgment written. Slavery. Right? So we go execute that judgment by putting you into slavery, man. Right? That's it, the Lord. This is what Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Therefore, all day that devoured thee are devoured. Shall be devoured. You're going to get devoured, you saw it. And all thine adversaries. What do you say? All no, thine adversaries. Adversary, right? Every, every one, one of them, them, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. What is this name? Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. So y'all gotta go to slavery. That's right. That's right. You're a red man. You're a devil. You're the wicked of the earth. That's right. You told my people that Christ was a so-called white man. It's a lie. You told Christ. You told my people that Jesus Christ was a so-called white homosexual. That's what you said. You said Caesar boy there is Christ, man. When he is so-called black man. That's right. Right, bring that up. This is the book of Job, chapter 21, and verse 19. Yeah. God laid up his iniquity for his children. He laid up the sin for his children. So you got to pay for the sins of your forefathers, man. That's right. Right? You got to deal with it. He rewarded him, and he shall know it. Right. You going to know when you get rewarded, man. And we read earlier, y'all going to look at the strangeness of our salvation, man. Right? It'll be finished. This is the book of Job, chapter 27 and verse 14. Right. If his children be multiplied, if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. For what? It, it is, is for the sword. sword. Prosperity. It is for the sword. sword. They multiply for the sword. That's so they right. got their judgment, man. Thus saith the Lord. Hey, brother, what's your nationality, brother? Yeah, your nationality. You said who? You said it's not a you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. No, I'm asking, do you believe in the Bible? Yes or no? I said, do you believe in the scriptures? The Bible, the Holy Bible. You said you believe it exists. Unless your name be named, your name be named. Do you believe in the words of the Bible? Do you believe the Bible is true? Get around the 2868. Let's see if this is true. Uh, hold on, hold on. Right, because you said it don't, you said your nationality don't matter, brother. You said, yes, you did, brother. We got you on camera. You didn't say that. You said it don't matter. But listen to this, brother. This is the book of Sirach. Check this out. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. So you can't be ignorant of your nationality, brother. So what is, what is it? You say you're not ignorant. What is your nationality? But, what's it? I, what's the real message? We're we telling, we telling the blacks and Spanish. Listen, we telling the. You just asked my message. You going to let me answer, brother? You going to let me answer, brother? We letting the black, the so called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans know that they are the true biblical Israelites, the Jews, according to the Bible. They got to repent and keep the commandments or they're going to be destroyed with America and the so called white That's right. Right, so you got a shirt that says Black Father. Right, you got a shirt that says Black Father. You ain't got fringes on. You got a bald head, brother. So what do you mean you know something? Because that's a commandment. That's a commandment of God for the Israelites to keep. If you knew you was an Israelite, then you would know you were out there having hair. Right? You just being proud, brother. You proud, brother. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. What the Bible says? They shall not make boldness upon their head. So you can't have a clean, shaven head. You say you know this. You say you know you're an Israelite. Why you got a bald head, brother? You said, you said put the scriptures aside. Why we put the scriptures aside, brother? You said put the scriptures aside. 
No, no, we we reading the Bible, brother. I ain't saying that the Lord saying. It's right. This does say the Lord, brother. You said what? Give me Psalms one nineteen and and, 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 and hundred, man. Did you say you've been here longer than us? Listen to this, brother. Well, you just said that. You retracting that statement too, brother. It's the book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen, verse hundred. I understand more than the ancient. Like, I understand more than the elder men because I keep thy precepts. Because I keep the precepts. Right. What's your nationality? Yeah. You African? Yes, sir. What tribe? What what country? That, that's a continent. It got fifty five over fifty countries. You, give, you said where is home? Give me a Galatians four twenty six. I love your knowledge. I love your knowledge. You're about to show you, brother. I love about the two more Jesus. This word right here says, you want the answer? You want to show you. I'm sure you're all right. I love about the two more Jesus. Mr. Book of Galatians, chapter 4, and verse 26. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem. Which is above the street. Right? Which is the mother of us all. Our homeland is Jerusalem. And I have not been to my homeland, and I'm actually a curse that happened to the Israelites. Right? You got to have a passport by the so called white man to be able to go. Why we got to be here? Why we got to be here? Because we broke the command. What was that, brother? You kind of, you might be kind of bugged out, brother. You are you inebriated, brother? I got fourteen senses. What well, they got to do with anything, brother? You say you're not, not. Let's go back. You say your nationality is African, brother. I ask you, what country? What tribe? What's your nationality? A Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Yahweh. That's right. All right. All right. Yeah, you don't you don't really know what's going on. So Jake, you know, Jake don't know what's going on, man. Jake just wanna scoff and come up, man. Hey brother, you, you just scoffing, brother. You don't really know what's going on, man. Huh? Alright. <laughs> hey, bring that one out, man. You can get Mr. Book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. That's why we're going into captivity. Because, why? because they have no knowledge. Because what? Because, because they, they have, have no knowledge. knowledge. Like, the brother don't got no knowledge, man. My brother was kind of bugged out, kind of weak. Man. See that? So our people went into slavery for that same reason. And their honorable men are famished. Like our honorable men are famished, man. They in need of bread, man. Like they in need of that water, man. That spiritual water, right, man? And their multitude dried up with thirst. See that, man? So our people got to, you know, get it together, man. That man is, like he said, he got all these grandkids, this, that, and the third. But you ain't teaching me nationality, man. So that's that's off, man. Bring it out, all right? So look at Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Right? For my people is foolish. The Lord say, for my, my people, people is foolish. foolish. We foolish as hell. And Israel is a foolish nation, man. Israel really don't know what's going on, man. Right? You see that? Bring it up. They have not known me. They are sodish children, and they have none understanding. Right, our people have no understanding. What's going on, sister? He said, come ask what's my nationality. I would like to know that. I'm very under-informed. Well, if I was to ask you what is your nationality, what would you say? African-American. Well, yeah, that's two white men. You got Scipios, Africanus, and America best people. So we know that's not our nationality. So if that's the case, then we probably wouldn't know. You can't say black, that's a color. So we can show you your nationality, right? You familiar with the story of Moses? Part the sea, not yep. much. Yeah, he parted the sea. He got the Israelites from Pharaoh. He said, let my people go. Now, this is afterward. We're going to read what he told the Israelites when he gave them the command. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. He said, it will happen. It shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, you don't listen to God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, right. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. He said, if you don't listen to the Most High God, curses will befall you as a nation. Right. So we got to go through the curses to identify who the Israelites are. Let's go to verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Like you see that? So the curses is upon the seed of the Israelites as a sign. 
If you want to go to the Coney, you go look for the Coney sign. If you want gas, you go look for the Sitco, the Marathon sign. Right? Any particular place you go and look for the sign. So we got to look at these signs to see who the Israelites are. Right? Give me verse uh, 48, the first 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Right? Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Right, since you didn't want to serve the most high, now you gotta serve your enemies. Right? We go go and let's go go further in detail. What you gotta serve these enemies for? Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Right, you gotta serve your enemies in hunger. Now if I ask you, what's the last thing you ate? What would you tell you? Well, where did it come from? Right, did the so-called black man own that? How about when you go to Kroger or Walmart or any of these big groceries? A lot of people don't own it, so you gotta go to your enemies for food, right? And in thirst, and in thirst, right? Well, you can't even collect rainwater or you'll get a uh, ticket, a fine, right? And in nakedness, in nakedness, all the clothes brothers got on out here, every single one of us comes from our enemy. And say I'm Jay Z and I got locker with you. Where did the material come from? Overseas, it's enemies. So it don't matter. We have to go to our enemies for everything. And in want of all things. Like you want a death certificate, a birth certificate, you want to go to Canada, a passport, you want a job, education. No matter what it is, you have to send your enemies for it. We got a piece of it. All right. Hold on, sister. We got we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta get one more after this. We about we gotta prove it to you. You an Israelite. We about to show you. Two reasons. We got, we got one more for you. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed you. Right. And he said, This enemy gonna put a yoke of iron. What people had yokes of iron upon their neck? Like a big chain on their neck. What people had that on their neck? Right. People of color. Go to verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right. He said, he gonna, You're gonna go back into Egypt. Now, this after he parted the sea. So we gotta understand Egypt is a is a, is a uh, it has a, a meaning behind it. Egypt means Montezarium in, in Hebrew. Or the word is Montezarium in Hebrew, which means you're in between a rock and a hard place. You're in bound in bondage to something. We gonna prove it. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter six and verse twelve. Right. Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. Brought us out the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. But it's Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt. It's the house of bondage. It means slave. Right? So you got to understand, hear this curse, and then you will understand you're Israelite. That's what he's trying to prove to you. So I can't just tell you because the Bible tells us to prove all things. So that's why I'm showing you we fit these curses. Because who fit that curse of serving their enemies for everything and having yokes and iron upon them? Us. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he's going to bring them into slavery, bondage again. With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. This is in the Holy Bible. He said you're going to go to slavery with ships. Right? This is written thousands of years ago. He said you're going to go to slavery with ships. Right? We the only people that have this. You know what? By the way, world, I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So you're not going to see your homeland again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. When you get off the ship, you're going to be sold unto your enemies. Now, who is to be sold to when we got off the ship? Europeans. So the Lord calls them your enemies. Right? Do you believe the so called white man is your enemy? I wasn't going to say something thicker. But hey, you can say it because the Lord hates all so called white people. That's right. No, that ain't right. That ain't right. You say that ain't right. It's in the Bible. No, that ain't right. You don't believe it? No, that's not right. That's not right. I ain't going to say that. Don't flee. How you going to say it's not true and then flee, man? Bring it up. Hey, it's the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Right as it is written, as it is written in Malachi. Jacob have I loved, you the 12 tribes of Israel. But Esau, Esau have I hated. hated. Esau, the so-called white man, has he hated, man. So he does hate all so-called white people. That's right. You know? What should we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Right. And she said, is, is that right? She said, that ain't right. Is that unrighteousness with God for hating the so-called white man? God forbid. God forbid. But how she say, I'm not a fan of white people and get mad at God hate white people? And so you should be better than God, man? And how can you not like white people but God can? Right? You see that? And sister had to walk away on that. You love all, you love white people? You love your oppressor. You love your oppressor? You love your oppressor? You love your oppressor? I love the white man. 
Saturday, man. Every Friday and Saturday, man. We WFI, Boston for Israel. All right? So we're going to be out here tomorrow as well, man. Same spot, man. Lord willing. All right? So you got to you, know, you start keeping the commandments, man. Right. You got to make haste, man. I was telling the brother that earlier. Because now ain't the time to be lukewarm, brother. Right? Now ain't the time to be lukewarm. Yeah, how, yeah, how long you been in the truth? Like that, you waste your time. But hey, man, you, you like got to say that. Hey, man, yeah, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got a base, bro. Come on, man. But that's, hey, man, it ain't hard, man. Give me a Philippians 416. Not 2015, bro. Right. Yeah, your woman got the hair wrapped up. Hey, what's up, brother? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Wait, if you need to print this too, man, you're printing that. We're working on why the Why don't you get, why don't you sew him some printers on the shirt? Go get some printers and sew it on, on his shirt. Right? Just do that for him, man. Oh, uh, he's going to be on his way, actually. Right there, Eric. Yeah, bring that up. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. Rocky, yeah. You said it's too hard, bro. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened in me. I can do all things through Hamashiach, man. Not too hard like that, man. I know the spirit is going to flesh quick, man. You know, right. I'm here, you know. But you gotta walk after that spirit. Right, right, 2015, right. brother. Hey, man. Brother's taking care, brother. Maybe two, but man, brother. You gotta, you gotta make hate. Especially with all this hell breaking news. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good thing I'm still here, though. I got a chance. All right. You can't get that penny, brother. You just got to you know, make haste. No, no, 18 and 14. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 14. It's anything too hard for the Lord. It's anything too hard for your Howard, man. Ain't nothing too hard for the most high, man. So, you know, you just got to you know, separate from the ways of this world, man. Then also, what you gotta do is be around brothers, man. You gotta start being around brothers, man. Like you been being around your worldly family and the world is people. ain't gonna get you nowhere. You can't just be sitting at home smoking the blood, watching videos, and arguing with people on Facebook about the truth. That thing can't be what you're doing. You can't be a Facebook alike. Are you an internet like brother? Right? You can't be an internet like. You gotta, you gotta start being boots on the ground coming out here, man. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 37, and verse 12. But be continually with the godly man. You gotta be with godly men, right? Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Right. Who you know that keep the commandments, right? Whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee, and thou shalt miscarry. See that? So check that out, bro. So you know, you gotta start being around godly men so you can get your act right, huh? 
It's all right. You know, you got high holy days that you got to congregate in for. You probably do the high holy days, brother. You got to do the high holy days, brother. Open up Leviticus, go to chapter 23. Right? That's, that's a fact, too. But, you know, you've been in five years, but you got you to gotta make haste, brother. I know you heard of the high holy days. So you got to get the friends. You eat pork, brother? You eat shrimp, crab, lobster, and do the dietary law. You do, you celebrate. How it's my birthday tomorrow. I'll be 49. All right, come on, come on. So, you know, you can follow. You just got to go all the way yeah, in. Yeah, all the way. I already know. Yeah. That's why I came down here. All she said she made a point. Yeah, all praise, brother. So, you know, you got any questions, brother? I don't know. 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 Yeah, yeah. I ain't speaking nothing, man. No, no, that's the whatever, Lord. Yeah, the All right. We speak God. God said the most high God. All right. Give me us. This is the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter 6, and verse 11. Put on the whole armor of your home that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. God, so, you know, it's actually not hard when you put on the armor of Yahweh. And what's that armor? It's wisdom and knowledge that's in the, in the book, you know? So you got to make sure you're studying and being around, you know, wise men. So you can put on that armor. It's the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which Yahweh give it. That Yahweh in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. See that? So that's what we out here doing, speaking. Thus saith the Lord, man. We ain't speaking our own vain belly up here, man. We can't do that, man. If anyway, justifying Yahweh. And what about you, brother? You know your nationality? You said what? I said, what's your nationality? American. American? That's a white man, America Vespucci. Is a white man your daddy? You see that? So Amer you can't be American because that's a white man. So what's your nationality, brother? You really ain't got an answer, brother? Right? So if I ask the so-called white man his nationality, he's going to say I'm Scottish. He's going to say Britain. If I ask the Chinese man, he's going to say uh, Korean. Chinese. You see that? So why we don't know our nationality? Huh? What you're going to find out is it's in the Bible, brother. Our nationality is found in the said the Lord. Right? You believe in the Bible, brother? Let me show you something. Get around around 2868. How did our ancestors get to America? And how our ancestors get to America, brother? Boats. Boats, right? You know that's in the Bible? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. It reads, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said, the Lord will bring you into Egypt again. Right? So this Moses telling the Israelites for breaking the commandments, you're going to go to Egypt again. But what does Egypt mean according to the Bible, brother? Do you know? Yeah. All right, we're going to show you what, what Egypt means. Right? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. What is Egypt? From the house of bondage. So Egypt represents the house of bondage. It's a Hebrew word, Masazari. It means you're in between a rock and a hard place. Right, so Egypt is bondage. So with that understanding, let's apply it to this and see what it says. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He's going to bring you back into bondage. With ships. With what? With ships. And you said we came to America by boats, right? The Bible say the same thing. He said the Israelites would go to slavery on ships. Read on. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. He said you won't see your homeland again. Read on. And there, and there, when you get off the ship, ye shall be sold. You shall be sold unto your enemies. To who? Until your enemies. You'll be sold to your enemies, man. Huh? So who is we sold to when we got off the slave ship? Our enemies. But what nation of people? What was their nationality? Right? The European man, the Caucasian man, the cave beast, the, the Esau, the so-called white man. So Esau, the so-called white man, is your enemy, according to the Bible. You see that, brother? You're sold to your enemy. For bond men and bond women, right? 
and no man shall buy you. And nobody gonna redeem you out that slavery. Right? So what people can say, hey, that sound like me. You went to slavery on shit and was sold to our enemies. Who that sound like, brother? Who went to slavery on ships and was sold to their enemies? Who fit that curve? Us. So who was Moses talking to? Us. But what was their nationality? We're about to show you, bro. We got the answer for you. They were Hebrews, but they were Hebrew Israelites. Right, bring it up. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, and verse 1. Right, it reads, these are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. Right, they made that covenant with the children of Israel. So if he was talking to us and he said that's for the children of Israel, we would have to be those people. So you're not American. Your nationality is Israel. You're an Israelite. You descend from a man named Abraham, from men named Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's where you come from. Jerusalem, brother. So you are a true Jew according to the Bible. Did you know that, brother? That you were a Jew according to the Bible? Give me a Jeremiah 14 and 2. That's what color are the Jews, brother? Right. About to prove it too, brother. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. And I'll read Judah mourning. Judah mourning. Right here. That's talking about the southern kingdom of Israel. And the gates thereof languish. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. They are black. And to the ground. Like different shades of brown, right? The cry of Jerusalem is going up. You see that? So the Jews are, are dark skinned, barely knowing people, right? So you were Israelite, brother. Right, that's something to be proud of, man. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. Right? That's something to be proud of, man. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. This is the Lord talking to the Israelites. You, us, brother. He said you are holy people. And to the Lord thy God. Right? The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right? Above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. Like the so-called white man told you all men was created equal. Well, he burned in the sun, huh? Right? The 